Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support our channel, please subscribe. Ethelflaed, the warrior queen who killed the Vikings. Now, Ethelflaed was the lady of the Mercians who ruled Mercia in the English Midlands from 911 until her death seven years later. She was the eldest daughter of the legendary Saxon king Alfred the Great. She was greatly involved in the fighting against the Vikings at the time, and she was considered a great ruler who was involved in the conquest of the Danelaw. She's seen as a powerful woman, and a woman that her enemies dreaded, and has even been compared to Elizabeth I in terms of her power and reign. Ethelflaed is the warrior princess who it's believed is the first-born child of Alfred the Great and his wife. At the time in which she was born, the Vikings had brought England into great turmoil and panic. Three years before, a great Viking army assaulted East Anglia and the Vikings would have then raided different settlements and taken land in every major Saxon land, except for Wessex, which managed to hold them back. The Vikings wanted to conquer England completely. But at the Battle of Eddington, the Vikings were defeated and were forced to agree to a negotiation that split the country in two, between Danelaw, land controlled by the Danes, and then the English ruled lands. Little is known about her childhood, but she was married to Ethelred of Mercia. Alfred the Great sought great marriages for his children to build alliances, and for his eldest daughter, a great alliance was planned between Wessex and Mercia. She was married to the older Ethelred, who was a loyal member of Alfred's army, and their union united Wessex and Mercia. Ethelflaed was a strong woman, and she was a warrior. As her husband became more ill, she took on a large amount of his responsibilities, she was involved in upgrading defences in towns and also arranging alliances and diplomatic agreements between different regions. She was worried about the potential of relocating Danes to the northwest of Mercia and she offered them land in the Wirral to settle and also ordered Chester to be re-fortified in preparation of a Viking attack. In 1907, the Vikings who were based in the Wirral on her lands attacked Chester but they could not breach the town. Because of this, Ethelflaed was seen as a skilled leader, and her reputation was celebrated all over Europe. She was seen as a competent ruler and a skilled army leader, much like her father, Alfred the Great. Her husband's health continued to fail, and with this she sided with other rulers, such as her brother Edward the Elder, to try and retake Mercian lands incorporated in the Danelaw. Her husband died in 911, and Athelflaed became the Lady of the Mercians and gained control of the whole kingdom. This showed Mercia to be forward-thinking, as a woman ruling over the land was seen as backwards in lands such as Wessex. Even Alfred the Great's wife was there in the shadows, and Athelflaed's mother was subservient to her husband. The Alderman of Mercia had chosen Ethelflaed to rule and lead them, and in this role she scored a number of brilliant victories for her lands. In 917, her soldiers reconquered the city of Derby, which was Viking-held, and this was one of the five boroughs of the Danelaw. In the following year, she captured Leicester, and then went towards York, the Vikings' capital city. The Danes were so took back by her leadership that they were willing to negotiate and even submit York to her. However, on the 12th of June, 918, she passed away. It's believed that she died from dysentery and her body was carried 75 miles to Gloucester, where she was interred with her husband in St. Oswald's Minster. She was a victorious warrior queen who had defeated the Danes in a number of significant battles. As early as 910, she led an army fending off the Danes with a joint Anglo-Saxon army. During one battle, three Viking kings had been killed by the army under her command, and her legacy began to thrive because of this. By strengthening fortifications, she was also seen as a shrewd and clever leader. She also invested significant money into many church buildings throughout Mercia, she turned a number of towns from being derelict and run down to being thriving. She was also known for returning a number of important Christian relics, such as the body of St. Oswald's, whose remains and relics have been taken by the Vikings. During the Anglo-Saxon times, it's considered that Mercia 
was almost like a poor neighbour to Wessex, but this wasn't the case, as Ethelflaed, who was born in Wessex, helped to make the kingdom a feared land and a prosperous one. Mercia and parts of it stood strong, and like her father Alfred the Great, she invested heavily into education and culture. Ethelflaed broke the mould for princesses during the Anglo-Saxon times, in a time in which daughters of kings were simply used for securing alliances and bearing heirs, Ethelflaed was different. She was a warrior who had a number of spectacular victories against the Vikings, and today she's seen as a brilliant Saxon ruler who deserved the title the Lady of the Mercians. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.